Hi, uh, I'm going to give you a little demo of a project that I'm working on, which is called the Orc Dungeon. As you can see here, they are just a bunch of Orc files and also a Emacs libs file. And uh, what I found is that uh, if you have these uh, Orc files, and then you have uh, Emacs libs uh, file as a source to control uh, how to progress from one file to another, it will give you a game-like experience. And it's like uh, the old game Myst. Uh, it was developed with the technology HyperCard uh, for the Macintosh. And basically it's used a uh, similar technology, so a similar interface to the, the, the developer uh, was using that technology to uh, develop the game. Uh, concretely, I'm going to give you a demo of uh, how the game uh, look like. Uh, so. This is the this is a very vanilla uh, Emacs uh, setup, uh, and then I open up uh, the first off file, and uh, the off file is just a bunch of text. So, but uh, it tells you a story. So you you wake up somewhere, and then there's a dog-like uh, robot uh, called Amy around you, and then uh, it tells you what you should do. Uh, following the instructions. So uh, for example, here it tells you, okay, uh, down there, there's one thing called code block, and then you can evaluate it by pressing C, 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 C. So, uh, and then uh, we can just go there and then just evaluate the code block. So technically it's just run the Emacs libs file because uh, you, you can see here, if you load Emacs libs, so it just, uh, evaluate that uh, Emacs libs file. So I can just say C, 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 C. And then for this one, I just say yes. And then it will jump to another uh, file basically. But uh, in the game, I call it the plane. So it jump to another plane. And then, yeah, so uh, in the other one, it's just saying that, okay, there is a function called the EMI escape 10. But yeah, assuming that you don't have any experience how to use Emacs, so you, you have no idea how to do that. But uh, down there, it's just saying that there is a, there is a key combination called CHF, and it will bring up the help system, uh, and then you can read the help file of uh, EMI, EMI Escape 10. So you can just do that, for example, CHF, and then describe function EMI Escape 10, 10 here. So it will show you the uh, help file, and then it says just saying that you can press MX, Meta X, and Meta usually map to odd, and then yeah, and then you can just close uh, this help file using CX1. So I'm just going to do that, and then yeah, I'm just try that MX, and then Emac, Emi, <laughs> escape ten, all right. So I will jump to another file or in the game, you jump to another plane. And uh, now you know that, okay, there's a function called EMI escape 12. And uh, yeah, you can just do that EMI because you learned it previously, right? EMI escape 12. But this time it's asked you for a password, which you probably don't know, right? And then uh, if you just type in anything, it will just say incorrect password. But uh, yeah, it's part of the learning experience because previously you learned that you should use the help file, help system, right? To, to, to read the help file of, of, a, of a function. So you can just uh, use the help file uh, to look for the help of uh, EMI escape 12. And then, yeah, just the, the help file will just say that, okay, you should enter a password and the password is EMI. And right, so you can just do that, right? Uh, EMI escape 12. And then now you know the password is EMI, right? So you can progress along this uh, different files. And then if you, okay, it's like game, but at the same time, it's also teach you something about uh, 
how Emacs works. Uh, for example, like the previous one, you know that how to use the uh, help file, for example. Uh, but uh, in the in the later part, you will learn how to evaluate some Emacs libs code and also how to write some Emacs libs code as well. And then you will learn uh, the difference between interactive command and also the just ordinary function, for example. Uh, now I just created a few uh, org files, but uh, I'm I'm actively uh, adding more org files so that uh, we can have a complete kind of educational experience. And uh, if you want to follow along uh, this project, you can just go to the my GitHub uh, repository. And uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, little demo. Thank you.